it's leaked, guys. It's online. You can watch it. I mean, it's not hard to find. I mean, that's the internet these days. Batman v Superman was supposed to be presented on Monday. It was supposed to be on the Mad Max. It's still going to be in Mad Max, probably. Uh, beginning of that. But it has leaked tonight. And of all nights, Star Wars Celebration, right? <sighs> Swear to me. Gotta say, this really looks like Injustice. It looks like the game Injustice. It has that feel to me. It has that look to me. It doesn't look like Man of Steel, honestly. It it doesn't. It looks more it looks Zack Snyder-ish. It looks more like... I don't want to say Sucker Punch. It's not as cartoony as that, if that makes sense. Maybe more Watchmen. Maybe a little bit watch. It, it just has that Zack Snyder fingerprints all over it. The look of it, the tone of it, but it has a little that flair of injustice. The game. I don't know why I like this. I love this trailer. I don't. Maybe because I love Batman. Batman's my favorite character of all time. I do not like Superman. I'm gonna say it right now. I don't like him. I never did. I did like Man of Steel, though, however, and I'm not too biased. I know why people like him, but I just do not like the guy. So when I, when I heard Batman v Superman, I was ecstatic. Am I more ecstatic for Batman v Superman than Star Wars Force Awakens? It's a hard one. We both got the trailers today. But before we get into that discussion, let's talk. What did I see or what did all of you see in this leaked trailer we saw actually quite a bit, quite a bit. We saw the Batmobile. We heard Alfred talk. We heard the bad voice. <laughs> we saw that, you know, Superman is a god. He's a god. He has all this power. For some reason, this trailer made me feel like he was an asshole. It seemed like they were portraying him to be kind of the villain. And you do need a villain in this type of film. But I thought Lex Luthor would be the villain. But we know that Superman and Batman are going to clash. So, but this trailer really made me feel like Superman was the dick out of all, out of, all of them. It, it just did. It, it's, every, I guess maybe because if you're a Batman fan, you're always going to go with Batman. Because you know what Batman's all about. Um, but you do know, you know Henry Cavill's Superman. So you know what he's all about. But for some reason, it really feels like he is portrayed as... It felt like he's over. He's how can I say it? He's he's definitely powerful and it's getting to his head, so to speak. But I don't think it is getting to his head. I think uh, it's just really our mindset of how the trailer is making you feel. Now the people feel that Superman is a false god, and we see that in that statue. We see false god written, false god written in red of the statue of Superman. He has, I guess, everything was fine and dandy. You know, he was a god. He was helping out. But people are going to turn on him because people with power and people... Those who don't understand what they can't understand will always be afraid and they will be afraid of Superman and they will turn on him. And that's, uh, let's say, the Joker. The Joker, when he was in interrogation room with Batman, you know, he'll they'll cast him out. Eventually, they will cast you out. And that's what it's happening here. Superman is being, you know, people are saying, look what all the, you know, you did good. But look at all the damage you brought. Uh, I think they're, yeah, they're definitely going to use that aspect in the film. So, uh, Henry Cavill, we saw some imagery. We saw some uh, lifting something. We saw, uh, we it looked like a people like from a tribe or whatever that had their face painted. You know, touching him and stuff. I mean, this the he, really this whole trailer was showing showcasing how much of a god and how much you know they worship him, they love him. So that's a cool aspect, man. I mean, Superman is a god, and well, you know, Superman is is pretty much being treated like a god. And I don't think we really saw Lex Luthor. Lex, maybe it was the guy in the far background. I think that might have been, but we didn't really see Lex Luthor. In here, we saw Batman. We saw Ben Affleck. We saw the big the costume. I saw a lot of. I saw one moment where they kind of stole from Dark Knight. You know, where he's all the way in the top and he's just you know standing there and the camera's going you know, uh, going to the right, flowing to the right. Uh, it definitely felt like that Dark Knight esque to it. 
the even the Batmobile, it felt dark. Not it felt like Christopher Do- uh, Nolan's Batman. Honestly, it didn't feel like Zack Snyder's Batman. It felt like Christopher Nolan's Batman, and that's either good or that's bad. The man Ben Affleck looks huge in this costume. He looks good as Batman. He looks good, especially with the the heavier armor that he has, like from the Dark uh, Knight Returns. Re- not Returns. Um, Dark Knight Strikes. Some uh, I forgot. Frank Miller. It's late at night. Uh, no, Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight. Oh, how how can I forget this? I have the freaking comic book. Well, anyway. So anyway. Yeah, Batman, Batman, Ben Affleck, the Bat, Ben Affleck, once he, uh, it's interesting, uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's the quality, or it's just the voice, I don't know if I like it, I'm leaning towards not liking it, it didn't really sound too, it definitely isn't Christian Bale Batman, but it isn't good, still, it just feels, it, it feels like somebody, I don't know why I was thinking the Predator for some reason. I don't know why I was thinking the Predator, but um, tell me if you uh, tell me if you bleed. It's, it's the voice. The voice needs a little bit more work. I think if if it's not you know the leaked version because of the footage and the audio maybe, but I don't know if I'm feeling about that Batman voice. I think maybe I got to hear a lot more. But my first reaction to the Batman voice, the Ben Affleck voice, I didn't really like it. I didn't like it too much. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't good. And it wasn't great. So that's how I feel about it. I do love the showdown between Affleck and Cavill. Cavill's huge, man. He got bigger. He definitely got bigger for this role. So that's going to be good. Uh, it's going to be a great battle. Hopefully, I don't know how they're going to do the Batman versus Superman and the whole power dif- differentiati- uh, differ- bleh, you know, difference and stuff. It feels like the sun is being blocked all the time now. It feels like, you know... Uh, Superman is not can't rely on the sun because it, this whole movie feels a little dark. It feels like Batman's Gotham. It feels like it's definitely Henry Cavill coming into Gotham where there's really no shine in there. Uh, but overall, I did like I really like this trailer. Um, even though I do see some things that may you know I don't know how much I don't know if I like the tone too much because the tone really just seems. A little bit too much like Sucker Punch or a little bit too cartoony. And I thought from the Man of Steel, realistic was more way to go um, tone-wise and setting-wise and feel-wise. Where this one feels a little bit, definitely a little bit more cartoony for some reason. I just feel like, not cartoony, but feels definitely a CGI fest. And I don't really want that. I really want, you know, real locations and stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Not too bad of a trailer. Ben Affleck's voice, I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. It might be the quality of the footage or whatever. I gotta go. You know, I want to look, see the HD. You know, whatever version. Uh, great trailer though. Great, great day to have two trailers pop up. Star Wars, and then we have Batman v Superman. Great stuff. I uh, absolutely love the armor that he Ben Affleck's wearing when with the white eyes. I always. Oh man, they did a great job bringing you know bringing those white eyes in there. That's that that's the. That reminds me of Batman the Animated Series. And that show is probably the best bat- incarnation of Batman there is. So it's going to be very interesting seeing Lex Luthor pop in. And it's going to be very interesting what they do with the rest of the Justice League. But our pretty much suspicions are confirmed. Superman has been hailed. But then he is also a person that they could hate on because of all the destruction and stuff. And, you know, people just... People are not used... They, they don't want to... If they don't know what something is, they don't like it automatically. So, thank you guys for listening. Subscribe, like, let me know your thoughts. I know you watched this leaked trailer, so let me know your thoughts. So, see you guys.